Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here, and today we're going to be reviewing some caffeine gum. But not just any caffeine gum, we're going to be going over Jolt Energy Gum. Sound familiar? Well, Jolt is the name of that highly caffeinated soda, Jolt Cola. And that's right, companies decided that they want to put caffeine in gum too. Why not, right? But with caffeine being known to have a bitter taste, can this gum really cover it up? And is it really made by the same company? All that coming right up. Hey again everyone, thanks for joining me. And today, I'm actually gonna be taking a break from the normal energy drink reviews so that I can bring you another caffeinated product. And that caffeinated product is Jolt Energy Gum. Jolt Energy was kind enough to send me a few cases of all their flavors. Okay, well, there's only two flavors, so. But they sent me several cases, so I'm a happy camper. And in return, I would give them an honest review of their product. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a brief announcement, probably gonna be the last one for a while. Then I'm gonna go over some information about the company, followed by the ingredients and nutrition facts panel, and end with the taste test. Timestamps down below. And if you wanna stay informed on all things caffeine related, including energy drinks, caffeinated products, such as this one, and other informative caffeine videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night. Love to have you there. Also, feel free to share me on your social media. I can be found at CaffeineMan1 on most social platforms. So this is going to be my last announcement for Terrificon at Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. It's going to be this weekend, August 9th, 10th, and 11th. I will not be there on Friday, August 9th, but I will be there all day on August 10th and August 11th. If you happen to be there, Come by and say hi to Caffeine Man. I'm gonna put a picture up here or right here, wherever it, wherever it falls best, to show you where I'm gonna be because the place is a big place. They're actually in the Expo Center. They moved from the normal convention center to the Expo Center because it's become so big. And you can find me kind of in the middle off to the side a little bit. And hopefully this map helps. If you can't see any detail on the map, I'm also gonna put it on my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So feel free to go there and take a look at the map if you're going. Jolt. You probably know the name Jolt from the soda Jolt Cola back in the 80s and into the 90s. They actually began making their super caffeinated soda in 1985, well before energy drinks such as Red Bull came to the States in the 90s. And their marketing concept was very simple, twice the caffeine as regular cola. And truth be told, it was a lot closer to three times the amount. A 16 ounce can of Jolt Cola has 160 milligrams of caffeine, which is the equivalent of the standard energy drink on the market now. And when it comes to soda, the average amount of caffeine in a soda averages right around 50 depending on the company, which means 160 is three times that amount. But this isn't a review on Jolt Cola. That video is still to come. This video is about Jolt Energy Gum, which is actually a different company than the Jolt Company. In 2003, the Jolt brand name was licensed to a company in New Jersey called Gum Runners Inc. And they began manufacturing two flavors of Jolt Energy Gum, which includes Spearmint and Icy Mint. The slogan for Jolt Energy Gum, chew more, do more. After two years of product development, which is a long time to perfect a product, they finally released their product nationwide. In 2009, they partnered with The Amazing Race, and with their slogan, chew more, do more, this collaboration with an Emmy-winning TV show gave their company some great exposure. And with the purchase of every pack of The Amazing Race Jolt Energy Gum, you earn points to receive amazing product from their website. Around that time, you could find Jolt Energy Gum everywhere. It was in CVS, a whole bunch of convenience stores. You could find it at 7-Eleven, Walmart, and they were putting the stuff everywhere. They had a lot of exposure. But over time, things seemed to slow down a bit. As of right now, in 2019, I haven't found it anywhere in Rhode Island and Massachusetts. I go to a whole bunch of CVSs. I definitely go to a whole bunch of 7-Eleven and convenience stores because I'm always looking for new energy drinks. And I've probably gone to about six different Walmarts between the two states, but no Jolt Energy Gum. Luckily enough, we live in a world where we have this wonderful thing that we call the internet, and you can find this on Amazon quite easily. So easily, I'm gonna include a link down below to my Amazon affiliate link so you can easily purchase it yourself. And while you're there, feel free to do your weekly grocery shopping or even your monthly grocery shopping or buy that brand new big screen TV you've been thinking about, <laughs> because I get credit for all that. So, what's in this gum? Let's take a look at the nutrition facts and ingredients. Not too much to look at, really. Each piece has five calories, as well as two grams of sugar and two carbs. Each piece of gum has about 45 milligrams of caffeine. And I say about because for some odd reason, they don't actually like to put on their website how much caffeine is in the gum. So it's somewhere between 40 and 50 milligrams of caffeine. So I just say 45 to average it out. Who knows, maybe it's a little different for each piece. That's why they don't want to say it. 
I don't know, put it this annoying. But anyway, there are 10 pieces in every pack and they say that two pieces is equivalent to a cup of coffee, which doesn't really help much because coffee can average between 80 and 120 milligrams per eight ounce cup. Thanks for the help. But I only usually have one piece a day because my intake of caffeine comes from additional sources throughout the day. Now what's great about this is that it's only got 45 milligrams of caffeine, so you can actually control how much caffeine you have by having one piece for 45, two pieces for 90, or even three pieces for 135, depending on how much energy you need. But is it just caffeine that's giving you the boost? No. They actually have a whole bunch of different ingredients to help give you additional energy. As you may know, I'm a big fan of Guarana. It gives you a longer lasting caffeine and it's all natural. And it's in this product. Additionally, in this product, they have ginseng. Ginseng's like a miracle worker. It has tons of health benefits in addition to giving you energy. So you can't go wrong with ginseng. Surprisingly though, Joel Energy Gum doesn't use any taurine in their product. They say that from an official study in 2008, there was no proof that taurine actually produced any energy. So they stick to Guarana and ginseng. This gum also has a bunch of B vitamins in it, but they don't actually state on the ingredients which B vitamins are in there. They call it a vitamin premix. So between your ginseng, your guarana, your caffeine, and your vitamin premix of B vitamins, it's like a chewable energy drink. Jolt also claims that you only need to chew it for about five minutes to get the caffeine out of it, which is five times faster than an energy drink. With an energy drink, you need to ingest it and process it through your system, whereas the caffeine is actually absorbed through the oral membranes when you're chewing, therefore it gets into your system faster. Faster processing caffeine. So why caffeine gum? What's so great about it? Well, there's many reasons why I like it, but the biggest reason is because it's so convenient. You can carry this anywhere and have caffeine on you at all times. So if I'm ever in a situation where I can't have an energy drink, you just pop a piece of gum for your caffeine fix and you're all set. Other people use it for working out, mostly in cases like running and biking, where it's inconvenient to try and be carrying a water bottle, they can just chew gum. If you're gonna be going on a long road trip and you don't wanna make as many pit stops, since it's not a drink, you're not gonna be putting fluids into your body, therefore you won't have to go to the bathroom as much. Students use it as an option to coffee or energy drinks because you're not allowed to have drinks in class. And it also tastes better than caffeine pills. But I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. For any activity that you would normally use caffeine for, you can have caffeine gum. It's just a lot more convenient. Me personally, I use it after lunchtime to freshen my breath and help me over that 2 p.m. lunchtime slump. Additionally, I actually recommend it to people that are trying to do a caffeine detox or anyone trying to lower their caffeine intake without many side effects. One of the most common effects of caffeine withdrawal are headaches. So if you ever feel a headache coming on, you just pop a piece of caffeine gum and you'll get 45 milligrams into your system, which isn't that much and should be able to fend off that headache while still only taking in a little bit of caffeine. So let's go ahead and try these out. So the first one I'm going to try out is the Icy Mint Gum. No surprises here because I've already had this, but I can tell you about it so that you know what it tastes like. But when I do try the Spearmint, the Spearmint is actually going to be new to me because I haven't had that one yet. I'm more of an Icy Mint kind of guy because I'm cool with a K. For all you new people, that was a reference to a previous video. And for the heck of it, let's try and get a close-up shot. It's got those little blue specks on it, which are actually like some kind of flavor crystals or something. It actually gives it a nice crunch, and I'm sure they taste like icy mint. Let's try it out. Can you hear that crunch a little bit? So it's a little bit crunchy. I'm trying not to make that many mouth noises because there's a lot of sensitive people out there that are like, oh, you're gulping too much. Or, oh, you're chewing too loud. And I'm like, you're watching an energy drink review or a piece of gum review. If I'm going to be chewing gum in a review and you're sensitive to the chewing sounds, why are you watching this video? Watch it on mute or something. I mean, I'm going to try and edit it out as best as possible, but there's only so much I can do. Then, of course, I'm trying to be sensitive to the sensitive people. And I got all the ASMR people saying, you need to chew closer to the microphone. We want to hear you chew. You can't win. What kind of world we live it in? People complain about sensitivity. Other people like the sound of it. Here we go. There we go. I just pissed off a third of the crowd watching. Another third of the crowd was super excited and they're just gonna listen to that over and over. My analytics, they're gonna spike because people are gonna be listening to that over and over. And then the last third are saying, why can't he just move on with the review? And I am. This gum is an icy mint flavor. It's your typical winter mix. They're just calling it icy mint. No one ever calls it peppermint anymore. So if you like peppermint gum, winter mint gum, icy gum, arctic gum, whatever you wanna call it, 
this is a good one. Like I said, I only have one piece at a time, but they are relatively small. They remind me of like the little tridents, so you can definitely feel free to have two. I've had two ones, and it seems more like a regular piece of gum, but like I said, I have no problems just eating one piece. Now, does it cover up that bitter flavor? It definitely does. I've tried lots of different caffeine gums. I actually did a video where I tried four different companies. And out of all of them, this one actually tastes the best and covered up the bitterness the most. Now, I'm so used to it that I can't taste any bitterness whatsoever, but I did give it to other people to try as well. Some of them said they thought they could taste a hint of chemical flavor, which might be the caffeine, but they said it wasn't overpowering enough that they wouldn't eat it. They said they just thought that was the flavor of the gum. And out of my test group of like six people, None of them said they wouldn't eat it because they thought it tasted good as well. So if you're looking to pick up some gum, get a little boost in there as well, I highly recommend the Jolt Energy Gum. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I tried, but they sent me the free product anyway. And I said, I love the product so much, I'm gonna do a review. It's actually pretty easy to do a review on a product that you like and that you've had before. So how long does it actually last? I usually chew my gum for only about 10 minutes until the flavor usually starts to go away. But I sometimes end up chewing this gum for a good 15 to 20 minutes when I'm at work before the full flavor goes away. And I actually gave it to one of the employees that I work with because she was looking for a piece of gum. And she said she chewed it for about an hour before she lost the flavor and could start tasting any bitterness. Who chews gum for an hour? I mean, that was new to me because I used to only chew gum for a few minutes because as soon as it lost any flavor, I would just spit it out. But apparently all you gum chewers out there you like a long lasting gum? I couldn't chew it that long, but I have word from other people that they chew it for about an hour. So I'm going to spit this one out now, not on camera, and try the spearmint right after I rinse out with something to get this flavor out of my mouth. And next up is the spearmint. Haven't tried this one yet. It's not that I don't like spearmint, I do. But the first flavor I ever tried was the Icy Mint by Jolt. And since I have to order them online, I didn't actually want to take a risk with another flavor when I knew that the Icy Mint was good. But I got this one for free. I didn't have to pay extra for it. Free is good. Let's see if it actually tastes good. This green one's got the flavor specs too. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that as well. There we go. Pop it right in. Yeah. It's definitely a good spearmint flavor. At my age, I've had a lot of different spearmint gums, and most of the spearmints kind of taste the same. You can't really go wrong with a regular spearmint flavor. Some companies have tried to get some other spearmint offshoots. That's just what you do nowadays. You try and make 27 different flavors of a product. I remember back when there was Doritos, regular Doritos, then Cool Ranch, and now they're just, there's like new Doritos all over the place. Same thing with Lay's potato chips, all sorts of potato chip companies. Nut companies do it. Planters Peanuts has all sorts of soy, wasabi, jalapeno, honey bake, French roasted stuff. I don't even know anymore, but every company is coming out with all sorts of stuff. So it's nice to actually get a company that only has two flavors, peppermint, icy mint, and spearmint. Can't go wrong with the classics. And this is your classic spearmint without any kind of bad aftertaste afterwards. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to chew it for that 10 minutes that I normally chew it for to see if the flavor lasts. I'll be right back to report it to you. All right, so believe it or not, it's been 10 minutes. This video is going to take forever to record. And it's still got some spearmint flavor to it. It's not actually getting too hard like some gums get when you chew it for too long. But the spearmint flavor is a lot less than what the icy mint flavor had. The icy mint flavor was still pretty decent after 10 to 15 minutes, but this is already starting to lose its flavor, and this is around the time that I spit it out, so it works out well for me. For you guys that like to chew for an hour or longer, I'm not sure if spearmint's gonna be right for you, but you can still feel free to try it out. Tell me I'm wrong if I'm wrong. So like I said, I like both these flavors. I think they make a really good caffeine gum. Currently on the market, it's my favorite one out there, which is why I still buy it and have it almost every day. If you wanna try it out, I'll include a link down below to my affiliate link, and if you're actually gonna be at Terrificon, I'll actually be selling this. I have several products that I'm going to be selling to help recoup the cost of the booth, but also to get caffeinated products out there so people know about it. I'm going to be selling Bang, Jesse's Wake Up Bars, Joel Energy Gum, and Awake Chocolate. So I'm covering all my bases with lots of caffeinated products for you guys. Hope to see you there, and if I don't get to see you there, I'll see you next Tuesday, and until then, have yourselves a great day. Or night. Right after I rinse out with something to get this flavor out of my mouth. Did I include a napkin or a paper towel to spit out into? No. I'll find something. <laughs> a receipt for Red Bull. 
I don't want to do it, but I got to do it. Sorry, Red Bull. Love you and all, but you're just a receipt. Good shot. No surprises here, because I've already had this, but I can tell you about it so that you know what it tastes like. I just dropped that. Flew right out of my hand. I forget where I was. I'll just go with it.